Alrighty, welcome back. Fina's hanging out just like she always does. She's a beautiful dog, Fina is. She's a beautiful dog. But thanks for coming back. We had a great interview last night. I want to thank Lou, Johnny, and Jared. I had a fun time. Uh, yeah, it was nice to have the interview. It was good. And I want to thank all the YouTube people and the Facebook people that chimed in on uh, that interview. Um, you really give us credibility, and uh, I want to thank you for that. Uh, what, what I'm going to do today uh, is I'm going to try to plumb that radiator up. And it's probably not going to be the easiest thing, but I'm going to try to make it as, as easy as possible. I have some copper, and I have a bunch of just hoses that i got hanging around. I'm going to cut some pieces out of everything to try to make it work. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make it work. I don't know what size that is, but I'm going to... Ooh, 5 sixteenths. Anyways, what has to happen is, this is the bottom radiator hose. comes down here and obviously went way up here. I'm going to have to make it run through here and get onto this side and connect on this side. Um, every, every time I turn, it has a bad connection, um, like to come across here, elbowed across here, and come in through here, and then come in this way. It's, it seems like it's going to be a little bit difficult. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with taking this off. I'm going to start somewhere. I'm going to take this off right here. And you can see that the old hop before I've even got started had copper in it. So you know what that means. It must be okay. Alrighty, there's some copper. Yeah, that's thick copper. Right. Alrighty, what I need now is I need this to go across there like that. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Some of the stuff that I'm going to do to get this done probably won't be very conventional, but neither am I. I want to straighten that out because it doesn't look that good. Just want to straighten it out a little bit. It's kind of jaggled up a little bit. They call that burning rubber. So what I need is, I'm not sure if I have to come back further or not, but I, what I need is I need an elbow to go across. And that's kind of small, it is, for that pipe it is to, but that's where it needs to be, right about there somewhere. This copper here, or this copper I just took out, is a nice size, that fits that nicely. What I'm thinking is, is I want to put a piece of a 90 on, on a piece of copper and then shove it in there. Then I can put the hose back, the clamp back around it. I'll have a piece of copper in there and then I'll have a, a 90 soldered on. We'll go across and see how it goes. But basically, I need a 90 soldered on this side of, of copper. And it does not fit on the inside. I tried, it fits on the inside, but generally copper's made. It's made to go on the outside, but I want this size. And then when I go to this size and I get the elbow to bigger, then, it's, then I have a hard time getting the hoses on because it actually fits this size, not the size that goes above it. So what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do. Just trying to straighten, straighten the copper out a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, I'm going to solder that inside there, hopefully. And this is what I'm going to do to get it done. I'm going to put a little bit of sandpaper in here. So what I need, actually, I need a piece going in here. I need an elbow, and then I need a solder piece going all the way across. And then I'll have to figure this side out when I get to it and all this copper I've had from other builds. And if you can't plumb your vehicle up with a piece of rubber hose or a heater hose that you can, you know, generally you have to know what vehicle, what's, what 
all that sort of stuff generally. But I'm not going to go that way. I'm just going to make my own. I need a hammer. I need a hammer. I've got a kind of a little, an idea how I'm going to get this done, I guess. I'm going to solder the elbow on the inside of this pipe. Uh, I can't set it there and make it stay still. So this is the idea what I've come up with. See how it goes inside like that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. Just give it a couple spots. Maybe I can stop it from going all the way down in so I can solder it. That's what I'm thinking. See what happens. A little more. Just a little bit more. You know, I'm not saying that this is going to be work or anything, but this is what I'm trying. I'm going to put that in there like that because it's going to hold it there. more in it because I can a couple more all I'll do is hold it in place and I'm just holding it so it don't go down through so I can put it in the vise and solder it just like that so when you solder pipe you must know that you'll need to scuff the inside I need to scuff the outside of this one there's my Not something I do all the time is, is plumbing and uh, the way I'm doing it right now is not conventional because this is not the way the pipe goes together it does not go together that way but right now it does not matter to me because I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna make it work for me that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to make it work and uh, for me to run over town and try to find a bunch of hoses or you know search their Thing to see if it works and then come home and try to see if it fits or whatever it just seems to be a lot of time when I can just try to make it myself and basically that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to make it myself and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it and I hope that I can do it can't say oh not one up there and one in there this is not a conventional way of doing it for sure usually you use hoses um, but we're gonna use the copper because we can, we have it. Yeah, we got a 1935 hop. Can we get the red hoses for our tractor? <laughs> that, does, that does not work generally. So what I'm going to do is, there we go. I'm going to put that in there so it looks good. And then I'm going to, I do have a torch, don't I? Yes, I do. I've got a torch. Baby, you got a light? Did you bring me up the lighter at all? Um, what's that? Okay. All right, I got a lighter. I got a lighter. Let's plumb this bad boy up. If you do not have, you know, if you do not have all the stuff or the hoses that you need, it takes time to get that stuff. If you've ever set up a radiator system, let's face it, it takes time to find that stuff. Also, I do not solder every day. So, let's go for it. 40-60. 40-60. It's almost like 840-80 prime. Generally, you put the heat where you want the solder. Uh, this is a not, not a tight fit, so um, I'm going to have to heat the elbow also to get the heat going. If, I, if I'm getting your way there, sweetheart, I just want to get around and get it heated everywhere. You know what I need? I need my glasses. Generally that, like I said before, generally that piece of elbow would be on the outside, would be on the outside of your pipe. It's going nice. Yeah, it's going nice. Seems to be. Mm. 
too hot and shoving it down inside there too far. Just got to slow down a bit. Basically, I'm going to have to run that like as if I was bronzing something. Heats off and on. And that's what I've noticed since I've started just doing this here a second. Just hot heats off and on. Looking good, looking good. To the other side. Just want to turn this a little bit. It's almost like you're bronzing. Beautiful. Looks fantastic to me, but ah. I'm saying that we're that we're good. She probably should have left it. Should have got out of it, I should have. I got back in there. I probably shouldn't have. Alrighty. see what it's looking like. Hmm. Generally, you can take that after you're done. You can wipe it with a rag really quick, and it, and it turns out very nice. But what basically, I don't know, I just want to get the, the haggle stuff off. I'm going to turn my torch off for a minute. I'm going to put that piece there. Well, I can also do this. Um, I need this. I need a little piece to go in here, obviously. So. I'm going to cut that off. Where am I going to cut that off? Just want to know where I'm going to cut it off, that's all. Let's make it a little bit long so we have some, some to play with because I've got to do this again. I'm going to cut this off. This is the piece that I'm going to use to go inside there. Hmm. I'm just wondering. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Should I use, I'm just wondering what if I should use a long piece, do the long piece first because, you know, trying to weld that in, the short piece, to weld, not weld, but solder, the short piece, what I've got here going on. See, now I've got a problem here. I'm going to turn that up like that. Hopefully I can weld, uh, solder a 90 going down and then we connect. That's what I'm hoping. So, sometimes this is harder than you think. Because I have to solder, there's one elbow there on that side, I have to solder one elbow going this side, it has to be connected with a piece going in that way. So I'm trying to, I can do this, cut that off, and solder another 90. Let's do this, let's cut this off. Let's cut this off, and then I'll go for another one. Probably fairly hot. Ah, uh, da, 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 my gloves. What's that, sweetheart? 
Okay, I'm just gonna shove that up in there. I'm gonna fix my mic sweetheart. Jolene looks amazing today. You set me all up for the interview. I wanna thank you very much, Jolene. Appreciate that. Give me good lighting. Um, everything went well. And if you wanna watch it, um, Jolene will put it on after tonight on YouTube. If you wanna watch it, you can watch it, see what's, what's going on there. Alrighty, I'm gonna shove this in here. I'm gonna weld another elbow. Or not, I keep saying weld. <laughs> um, made a little long, that's fine though. So I have to go across there. So we're gonna to have to do another one like just like we did that one. And basically I did, like I said, I did not go up the elbow. I did not get the elbows to fit this stuff because it makes it hard for the pipe to go on because that's where it's at. All right, this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna solder another elbow on this piece. We'll run it across. Didn't know if that was going to work or not, but that seems like it's going to it's going to do the job. And if it doesn't, I can just pull it apart and re-solder it. Keep soldering until I get it. Basically, that's the end of the story. Keep soldering until you get it. I'm pretty sure that I've got it. Looks nice. Looks good to me. And like I said, the only reason I don't, you know, go to Overnap and try to search for hoses because it takes time and uh, to look around. And when you when you get back here, generally you don't know if it's going to fit or not. Anyways, here we go. There's another one. Do a couple more because it fits good. Just to make sure we're doing the right thing. Just punching it. All I'm doing is giving it a little divot so it stops it and makes it set up right, that's all. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do it again. Let's cover this with about sandpaper. Also, this stuff fits nice on the on that too it gives a nice close this this stuff on the on the radiator is a bit small but that's bigger than the radiator so it's kind of um, yeah it's a hurdle that you have to climb every time you build a car and you put a radiator in you have to hook that radiator up and sometimes um, when we're building stuff the radiator is not exactly the way it should be I got to looking at Jolene's car and it's not exactly the way it should be either but we'll fix it we'll deal with it won't we baby we'll deal with it somehow some way Take my gloves off. So what has to happen here when I'm soldering this up, it doesn't solder like you're soldering your kitchen taps. It, uh, it, it's almost like I'm bronzing. I have to put the heat off and on uh, to make the solder stick or the gap that we have. Cause we got a little bit of a gap going on. That's why I've taken and uh, obviously put the divots in it because we got a gap going on. I didn't want that elbow to sink down through and uh, not give us what we want. So let's do this again. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is fun stuff, you know, soldering. Uh, me and Jolene in the shop today, soldering some parts for the car, it's good. Hey baby, got the front all tied in. Hopefully, hopefully, keep our fingers crossed and uh, see what happens. 
we get the radiator tied in. We got the battery box done. I mean, we didn't cook no banana bread last night. No, we did not. Funny story to that, you know. Jolene's mother's called and asked if we made banana bread last night. <laughs> Jim Daddy, huh? You gotta make banana bread last night? Oh, gotta get my glasses on. Can't see that well when it comes to that. I gotta, I'm squinting. I'm squinting. Generally, you just heat the, the pipe itself, but I'm trying to heat the elbow also because the elbow is kind of a little distance away, obviously. We've got like a 16th in there that's where it's not fitting that great. And uh, you see how I'm just kind of feathering it in there, taking my torch and get it, flooding it away. Now I'm going to turn it around the other side. It slide in there, so I'm gonna just back off if it gets in there. solder to me. Wow. Look inside there how glowing red that is. You see it in there? Glowing red, eh? Wow. Hmm. That thing's that hot. That's, you know, means to keep in the heat, obviously. Oh, better shut that. See a spot that I want to contend with? Give it a little shot more just in case. The soldering thing is, you know, you, you never know, to be honest with you, until it's <laughs> until it's checked, I guess. You never know until it's I'm gonna call it good. Call it good. It looks soldered to me, all the only way to know, to be honest with you, is try it. So I've got this crossed here. That's hot. I gotta remind myself. I wanna elbow that down and put into that. So we're looking at cutting that off. I want to elbow that down, put it in there like that. Looking at cutting it off, right? There. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just got it eyed up on this side, eyed up on this side where I'm going to go. Then I've got this elbow over here, and let's do this. Let's cut it off. Basically, basically <laughs> on this one, now this is not <laughs> something I suggest, you know, I don't know what to say suggest, but this is basically what I'm doing to get it done. That's, that's the end of it. You didn't know it was a plumber, did you? <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs>
I plumbed my share of, of pipes. I have. So you can still see the red in that. It's just glowing like I never really looked inside that before, but it's, it's neat how that is holding so much heat. Alrighty. All right, all right, all right. Let's take this and put it across. Try not to get burnt at the same time. That's going to go in there like, yo, yo. It's going to be hard to solder without messing that solder up, obviously. We have that end that's coming down. That looks good to me, to be honest with you. We can turn it that way. What I'm going to do is, so I know where to stick it on. It's going to go like that. I know where to stick it on. I'm going to do this. When I take it off, I'll know where I have to put it. That's what I'm thinking. I'll know where I have to put it. So, to line that up, I'm going to solder that just like that. So I know, I just put that line on there, so I know where to put it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm going to put some divots in it. If that's too hot between my legs or not. Let's do this. See what happened. My piece. Where did I put that piece? I'm gonna do a couple more, just cause I want to. Do a couple more. that up in there. We'll, let's solder that one. Let's see, let's make it work, right? Basically, that's all I'm doing is trying is just trying to make it work. Basically, all I'm doing is trying to make it work. I'd like to see that set up there a little bit on that one side. I don't know if that done anything, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying, baby. That's all you can ask for a try, isn't it? See, I just don't like. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't mind if it leans a little bit, but maybe I can squeeze it in there. Ah, yeah, that's better. Let's do this. Oh, missed the big step, didn't I? Let's take that back off. I missed the step. I missed the step. Basically just trying to clean it up. We'll put some flux on it so it sticks good. And we'll go from there.
This is not the conventional way that you plumb something up, you put too big a piece inside. It's not the conventional way. No, it's not. But if it works, I'll be happy. If it doesn't work, I'll have to do, it, do something else. And I really don't want to go searching for houses, for houses, to make it work. I just want to I just want to do it and get it done. Basically what I want to do. Got our lines back, line back up. We got it looking halfway straight. Good. Let's get back into this. It's nice and tight on this side, so I'm going to grab it first. Try not to mess the solder up on the on the top. Mm, too early. Trying to hold her up. We got quite a gap going on, that's why I'm trying to put lots on. I right, can do a little more on this side. Just hoping it was easy, all right to grab because now's the time I'm gonna do the other side. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm gonna put the heat down low. Hopefully, it'll climb and do the trick. thinking. I can't see nothing there. It's hard to tell until you, until you get into it, if it's good enough or not. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold off for that for a second. I'll turn that off. Um, I have, we'll leave that hose for a second. Or leave, not hose, we'll leave that piece for a second. Just leave right there. Probably should get out of your way for filming, probably. What I'm going to do now, oh, yeah, 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 it's hot. Just put it back, Chip. Just put it back. Just put it in like that. On the radiator, we have we have a brass radiator, copper radiator. I'm going to sand that and see what color. I think that would be brass, I think. Yep, we can solder brass. So, this piece here, I do not like with this because it puts, there's not enough. You see it goes on there. There's a big gap in there. I don't know if I squeezed it on there tight enough with a hose clamp. It might. 
it might do the trick. I don't know if I like the idea of the hose bending that. You know, where the hose is so straight and so rigid, I don't know if it would break that off after a while. I don't know, like, I don't know. This one down here for sure, I know I have to change right here. I know this one I have to change because this one comes down and over and there. So this is what I'm gonna do for this one. I got another elbow. I'm gonna take, see how that fits on there like that? That tells me that if I cut that ring off, I can shove that on there and solder that on there. So I'm gonna cut that ring off there. I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna put this piece on, solder it. And then hopefully, not hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna cut a little piece of hose that fits in there nice that we can clamp it there. And then we can run the one we just made all the way across on the bottom and then we can clamp it together. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut that off with a zip cut. Don't know if I should take the radiator off or not, but I'm just going for it. Radiator's on. If I start taking the radiator off, then it's just, just more time. And if I can get it soldered up in place without taking the radiator off, bonus. Bonus. Sandpaper. You see, this is pointing this way. I don't think we we want any tension on where the hoses run to the radiator. I think we want them to fit the best they can, especially where the we've got that fan fitting so snug, tight, and right. And there still might have to be a little bit of adjustment there. There might have to be, but at least we'll have the hoses set up so we can get it started. All I did is cut the lip off that, you know, held the pipe on from before. And uh, what they had before is not what I'm using now, so. Just kind of making it work, eh? to get it plumbed up half soldered if something leaks I can when I take it all apart then I can do a real good job on it fix it get the water out of it so on and so forth now we have this piece on there that fits good that fits on there nice I can solder that in there I'll clean that and solder that on now what I'm going to do it might have to be cut off a little bit shorter because I might want it in there further so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other one we just made radiator line we just made You never know when you're soldering something. I've soldered many water lines and, and have, it, have it leak. I have so. Um, and it's just, you know. Come on. Come on. off a little bit am I see how it comes down here come on this side you can see why well, I put that together just like that and then we'll put a piece of hose in there once I solder that on and that'll come straight across won't hit nothing I'd like to get a, a lid a little bit more just a little bit long is what I am I'm a little bit long and I wonder if I push that up in there further that'll help it any. There we go, just like that. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's get this cleaned off.
and hopefully that where we get it fit and tight and right this time hopefully um, when I solder it it'll run right around like it spoke like it usually does hopefully it'll nope no one on that side and what happens is the solder generally will run right, right around with the heat She loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Cool. And we'll do that. And we'll run that right in there. So, let's get that on there. It probably would be easier with the radiator off, but not going to do, not going to do that right now. Just want to get see if I can get some water in there, or get some get piped up where it's at. Ouch! Falls the heat. Solder does. Falls the heat. Just gonna I can get that. See it falling at the bottom. If you know it goes all the way around when it falls at the bottom. See it falling at the bottom. You know, we got lots. Just to know when. Get some solder down inside there. I'm going to clean it out. Let's try to hit the other side. Make sure I get some on that side. And what I'm what I'm saying is, if it doesn't if it doesn't seal up, I can go and take the radiator off. Yes, I can, and I can play with it more. Remember, it's your party. You can cry if you want to. Try that. Alrighty. I have solder down inside the pipe. Probably should try to clean that out. Yeah, that isn't all the solder from. I'm gonna take that off. That one's gonna cool for a second. I'm gonna pull the sucker out. That was from me dropping solder in there. Nope. That was from the solder that fell, so it went all the way around. So, let's do this again. I need, I need a little piece of this. And I need that one there like that. And then we'll cut a little piece to go up here. So we're looking at just above that. This off. Cut Straighten it out a little bit. 
have the chance to, why not? Have the chance to, why not? Shove that up on there. Nope, I'm gonna wait for a minute. I'm gonna shove that back in. I might take a little bit off this, makes it easier. Basically, basically the I guess the I guess the point of this video, or not the point of the video, I guess basically I guess it is make it work what you have, make it work, make it work. We're gonna go there, get a little piece here. So we'll have to take it all back apart and put put clamps on it. Yes, I will. That's still hot. That's still hot. Just like that. Hickory dickory dock. We'll get some hose clamps. That fits nicely on that. And then we're not hitting. I can come up just a little bit if it wants to. We're not hitting anything. You can see it running across here. Not hitting anything. It's good. It's tight and right. I can come up a little bit higher. A hose clamp here, hose clamp there. And we'll call the bottom connection connected. All right, on the top, I can just shove a shove the straight piece. Watch yourself, sweetheart. I can shove a straight piece on there. Like I said, yes, I can. But I do not like. I just don't like how the hose bends abruptly there and puts pressure on that. I'm thinking I might snip that off. We're putting that on there. So that fits that nicer than this does, obviously, because this goes over top of that. I could put a piece of copper on top of that and just... Anyways, I'm thinking I should I copper that on there and then I could run that there and run it straight somewhat would be a better fit than having pressure on that top piece, I'm thinking. Da -da 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 I can solder that on there. Yes, I can, because I just soldered the bottom piece on. You see me do it. You see me do it. Just don't know if I want to or not. It does make it better, so I'm going to cut it off. It does make it better. There's always hurdles every time you build a car, there's always a hurdle. And it's up or down or over or above or down below or whatever you have to do. Uh, I had a, a visitor in here um, just a while back that was from, was from BC, was he from? And he, and he, and he uh, machined a piece that moved his distributor. He took the distributor, he left the distributor in the engine. The blower wouldn't come down because the distributor was hitting, the, the blower was hitting the distributor. So he, he machined a piece and left the distributor in the engine and ran a belt over and had the distributor sitting over here it, and ran it on a belt or whatever they ran it on because it's one to one. And then he could put his blower down on, but he moved his distributor over there. That was, that was quite neat. I, when he told me or showed me how he done that, I really, that really impressed me because someone took um, their brain and used it and made it work. And it looked nice, it did the job and uh, if you did not, you know, take your brain and, and figure that out, he, you know, he would have had a blower that he probably didn't like how high it was or it wasn't in the right spot or whatever. But it's just amazing, you know, what you can do if you want to use your brain. After you have one thought, then you got to go to the next thought, you know. If you want something, the next thought should be, well, how do you get it? That should be the next thought. Then when you figure, well, how do I get it? Well, then you try to make that as easy as possible too, how I get it, and uh, work from there.
at that. Nice and tight fit. That's what we like. Alrighty. Makes the solder better for soldering, I, I think. We'll get the inside of this. Doo doo doo. Just kind of gives it a. To me, it gives it a better. Better straight on, I guess. Let's get on there a little bit more. A little better straight on, I guess. Not much better. How far am I on there? On there a little bit further. I want to check and see the hose. Still, really doesn't give me something that I, I enjoy, but it's better off than pointing that way. Going, so I can put that on there. That should be fine. That should be fine. Let's put a little solder on that bad boy. I didn't put no paste on it. In a rush. In a rush. So <laughs> come on, Chad. Come on. I'm going to go like that. And we won't know until it leaks, until we start filling it up with water and maybe running it for a bit. We won't know, but it's all good stuff. make a mess. That's what to get into. Probably have to take the I'm thinking, oh, let's put a little more back in here. in there. Come on. Looks like lots to me. Cool. So, it's 
a little bit better. I can get a little bit better than going, you know, when it's angling this way and I got to go this way. It's a little bit better. We can do that. Uh, we'll get a hose here. I'll stick the hose on there. We'll just give that a minute, let that cool. Uh, so we need a hose clamp on. We need a hose clamp there. We need, we need three hose clamp, three, four, five hose clamps. We'll put that on there. We'll give this a cut to the length that we want. It's always nice to get a nice straight cut on your pipe, if possible. And right after the E is, right after the E on hose. That's how you cut your hose straight, zip cut. That's how I cut my hose straight, zip cut. Like, like that. I don't want to put that on yet. I like that to heal first. I like that to heal first. I got some mess going on there. Come on. I'll clean that off. We'll just let it set for a minute, let it heal. And the, if this, in any, if we have any problem with anything, then we take it off and we fix it. Just like you would at your home. Just like you would at your home. See, I see there that that's got to come up some. You see here that resting on top of that. I don't know if that's, we're going to have to get that up. You can see it resting on that clamp there. Don't like that. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a problem right there. That happening right there. You know what I mean? Cause you a problem. You go a hole, the bur bur your hole through it in no time. I don't know if the copper's holding it down or, but we'll get something underneath there so nothing happens. But you can basically see how I've plumbed up the radiator with just basic stuff. Um, I did, there was no, there's no uh, rocket science on this one. I, I used a couple plumbing fittings to plumb it up, like I, like you would your home, and then you run the hoses where you need them. And uh, you can if you like, and uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. You can go search for the hoses if you want to. I just want to clean that off. I'm just going to wait till it heals. Do you want to give away a hat or a shirt, sweetheart? Huh? Is it time? Did I do that very quickly? You've got more time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's let that heal, and then we give away a hat or a shirt. You look amazing today, Jolene. Amazing. Beautiful as always. <sighs> she woke up at 9, boys, looking like a 10. Got her, I, got her bed, I got her coffee in bed this morning. And the reason being is because she does it for me all the time. And I said, it's my turn, sweetheart. It's my turn. I'm just going to wait until that cools off. Here we go. Now we have our radiator hose. It's not a, you know, it's, that would put a lot of pressure on that after a while, I would think. And that right there is plumbed up. So we're plumbed all the way around to the bottom. You know, if you had to go, if you had to go find that hose or try to find a hose to go around there and get to that side of that radiator, <laughs> it would take some time, but you can do it, obviously. You can find a hose, I guess, but to plumb, plumb it up with copper and then get the right stuff and, and uh, make it work is basically what I'm doing, just making it work. And uh, Jolene will be happy with that, I'm thinking. We'll have water going through the engine and then we'll see if the fan works and all that sort of stuff. I have a gas pedal to put on yet. The battery box, um, I might put it on the other side. There is more room when it comes time because there's the, obviously the steering, steering's there, the, the starters, excuse me, right there. If I put it in there, I got a little bit more room to work if anything ever ooh, happened. And uh, we'll go from there. But there you go. I'm happy with that, sweetheart. That actually helps hold the radiator in place too from going back and forth and all that stuff. I still have to make a bracket from here. I'm going to cut this one off and use this one. That one doesn't make me happy, and that one doesn't make me happy. So we'll use that, and we'll go back to there, just like the original cars did. They went from the top of the radiator up to here. The, these ones are cut off, but we'll make one and go in this place that we need it. What do you think, sweetheart? Uh, you think that was going to work? Awesome. I think it's going to work just, just tiddly-boo, I guess. All righty, let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. 
that was uh, that was a video that I wasn't sure on making because I didn't know how it was going to go or if it, you know if I could solder that pipe together to make that fit inside. Generally, you don't make the the elbows go inside the pipe; it's usually on the outside. But the radiator hose and all the stuff I've been using fits the outside of the elbow, so that's that's what I did, and uh, I made it work. Uh, made it work. And you can do the same on your project if you want to. And remember, this is, this is not a show car. This is something that we're trying to get to run and uh, go down the tr uh, Nate's track and uh, Jolene to have fun and me to have fun watch her and I'll cheer her on. Hopefully the, it holds enough water that the car can run and not get up on temperature too quick and uh, satisfy us both. 418 comments, thank you very much. It's better than yesterday, 200 and some. I really have to, you know, throw my hats off to the YouTube people and the Facebook people that follow and watch because, you know, without you guys, where would we be, you know? Um, press start, sweetheart. Chris Morgan. On the top of the radiator are two brackets run some round bar fixed point on the radiator mount either side then run it to the firewall fixed mount on the firewall thread the ends of the bar the two nuts one adjust one adjust one to lock this should stop any movement but also make it adjustable if you need to make to try any movement after some use Exactly, Chris. That's exactly the way I was. We just we just talked it over, actually. Uh, just exactly what you said. Um, if you were here, I would get you to perform it, and I would go do something else. That's how it would work. You knew exactly what's going on, and uh, good on you because you know as you're watching. I know you're watching, so um, you know how to hook the radiator on and adjust and all that sort of stuff, and um, that's exactly what we're going to do. Signing off. If you want to watch the live interview with Lou and, and Johnny and Jared uh, last night, I had fun doing it. Um, they showed a couple of the cars. You know, Johnny sent them pictures of all the cars, but we might do it again. And hopefully next time the people that are watching can ask the question that they want to ask. It's hard to get the live questions um, on the YouTube, but we're going to try. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.